remember the situation uh, absolutely not easy at this point there for those in Israel. So the Israeli army has declared Operation Iron Swords against Hamas terrorists in the Gaza Strip. The intense fight that's on between the Israeli military and Hamas terrorists is still ongoing in the southern Israel area. I want you to take a look at this uh, detailed report about what's been happening in the past few hours in Israel and at the border with Gaza. Raining bombs, high-rise buildings biting the dust, air sirens, and a barrage of bunker duster bombs. After Hamas terror offensive, Israeli defense forces have gone on a full-fledged war with their counter-strike. The Israeli Air Force on Sunday struck multiple Hamas terror bases in the Gaza Strip. Several multi-storied buildings used as terror hideouts collapsed like a pack of cards after being hit by Israeli precision strikes. We've so far targeted 500. We have killed more than 400 terrorists inside Gaza, and we have dozens more in captivity. Residential homes that uh, are similar to high rises have been knocked down to the ground, leveled to the ground by the Israeli warplanes in Gaza City. Uh, homes in Rafah, in the south of Gaza, have been knocked down on their dwellers. Uh, actually, that's what's happening. Other sites belonging to Hamas and to leaders of Hamas have been hit hard by the Israeli by the Israeli jet fighters, by the Israeli warplanes. High-rise buildings in Gaza were flattened after an Israeli airstrike rocked the city, targeting the Hamas groups in Operation Iron Swords. Israel. Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, warned Gaza to vacate the region before their forces began the counter-strike. Later on Sunday, Hezbollah, a powerful armed militia backed by Iran, said it launched guided rockets and artillery into three Israeli posts in solidarity with the Palestinians from Lebanon. In response, the Israeli military retaliated with artillery strikes in Lebanon and conducted a drone attack on the Hezbollah post near the border. Right now I'm here at the old city of Jerusalem, which is um, actually quite tense right now with all the security personnel checking every single person to know if they're tourists, what their purposes are here and um, what their intentions are coming into the old city. Israel is now retaliating. There was an attack by the Hamas group, which is now being touted as a surprise assault that combined gunmen crossing the border with heavy barrage of rockets being fired from the Gaza Strip. While over 300 Israelis were killed in the coordinated terror strikes on Saturday, Israel is now claiming to have eliminated 400 terrorists in Gaza till Sunday afternoon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure.